What's happening guys? Today we're starting off at the merch rack. Before we get started with today's video, I just want to let you guys know of a couple new things on the channel. So first off, we now have memberships available. If you guys want to go ahead and help uh, support the channel a little bit or a lot every single month extra, go ahead and check out the memberships. We have a lot of cool options and uh, a lot of cool perks that come with each tier of benefit, or I guess membership benefit. Also, I'm currently looking at the Z. It is completely done, man. We have a photo shoot for Past Meg to be on the cover. It's gonna be great, and I can't wait. That's coming up this Friday. However, uh, yes, the giveaway. The giveaway is also happening. Make sure you guys get your entries. We have lanyards, we have stickers, we have hats, we have t-shirts, and I also want to question you guys about posters because I know that's kind of been requested. Um, in the comments below, drop a comment whether you guys wanna see posters of the 240, my 240, this one right here. Uh, the Z, I can't really show you that right now. Uh, you know, just let me know what you guys wanna see on a poster. They're gonna be really nice uh, quality prints. Uh, size, we still have to figure out probably like an 11 by 17 ish I don't know I don't know it's just a completely random number I don't even know where I got that from go ahead and grab your entries though have a chance to win our 240 that we're giving away uh, you know thousand dollars cash you guys know the deal uh, a lot of new merch coming up on the on the way as well so that's gonna be it for now enjoy the video so over here you guys see we have my brum bumper and man this thing is just peppered absolutely peppered with like 25 different species of insects here it, it, it's definitely been used and abused man you can see i mean i've bottomed this thing out and it's folded and crunched so many times and but it's time to finally go ahead and change it up clean it up real good and uh one thing that we're gonna go ahead and tackle today we used to have fog lights here so i got these ducks they fit pretty well I, I, i'll have to link them they're the ebay ones they're not the icon dynamics because you know i was a little cheap back then i don't know so, you know i just want to save some money so i got these to fit if you guys remember watching the video like i body worked these edges it was a pretty gnarly, like to get them to fit right, it was pretty cool, but um, all that work is pretty much down the drain because now I'm gonna go ahead and just mold them into the bumper themselves. Take it outside, clean up, and get to prepping, get to bonding. All right guys, I'm getting ahead of myself, sorry about that, but as you can see, I went ahead and prepped up my surface here. I scuffed the insides of this area with some 36 grit as well as the actual ducts themselves. Went ahead and laid my bead on the duct so that way when I put the duct in, it doesn't push all of the all the the sealant or the panel bond past the actual panel. It kind of runs with it and brings it up. So I, I placed it on the bottom line here so that when I placed it in, it kind of brought it up, if you guys kind of understand my, my wording there. Super simple, man. I, I really hope this kind of inspires and motivates you guys to go out there because that's what it's all about, man. It's just going out there, working on your own stuff, and you know, no one taught me anything. This is all, I learned everything on my own just by researching, and watching and stuff, and, and you know, here we are. So I, I've been improving, kind of learning things on my own, and uh, it's, it's gotten us a, a pretty far amount down the line, you know, far far down the line. So it's pretty cool. I was actually able to reseal this this panel bond stuff with the cap, keep the two parts separate, and uh, they do come with a disposable tip, so you can just obviously buy new ones of these, and it came with two of them, so it um, worked out pretty well for my, for my use. All right, so now here we go again. I'm just gonna go ahead and just lay this bead on the bottom side. Be, you know, obviously don't, don't, don't feel, don't feel afraid to kind of be, you know, generous with your application because you can't really overdo it. And I, I gotta mention, like, this stuff is no joke. Like, this is not body filler. Like, if you guys do apply this, be prepared to not ever take that piece off. All right, I'm gonna grab from the bottom and just slowly kinda guide her in. Okay, so you guys see, I'm just, I'm just molding it. This stuff is super sticky. Um, we will obviously need a body fill and, and, and still work this a little bit more precise because I do want it to mold a little bit nicely with the bumper and make it look like it's one piece. Moving, moving right along, we have come back, come back, what? We have come back to the rear wing. Uh, as you guys can see, I'm doing my, my wet sand with like my 320 block right now, getting all the texture out so you guys can see how smooth this looks over here and you can see all of the orange peeliness, all the texture is, that is left with uh, from the primer. So basically, I'm using the guide coat again, guys, just, just blocking it. I started off with a big block going on the main flat surface area, and as you guys can see, I had a little hot spot burnt through that. I was a little, just a little buried in my phone for a second. I just kept going in this one spot, so that's my fault. If I was gonna paint this, we would toss a coat of sealer on top. Luckily, 
we're not painting it <laughs> so we don't have to really go all out as long as this is nice and smooth and flat and the finish that we want will be good to go ahead and lay the vinyl on top of it so when the time co comes to to paint the car we will go ahead and make sure it's all sealed and whatever but for now that's fine it's not the biggest it's really not a big deal if i know someone's gonna be like hey what happened here it's come along real well man i'm excited to see this thing all wrapped up it's been a process this whole car has been a journey but man it's gonna be a it's gonna be a whole new car so hope you guys are stoked also, I'll have these, uh, this block kit, very essential. If you guys are doing body work, please go ahead and grab this kit. It's like 30 or 35 bucks. All these sanding blocks have completely changed the game for me and have really elevated my quality. So uh, I definitely recommend, definitely recommend grabbing them. I'll have a link in my Amazon store down below. It's, uh, it's it's coming along really well. I don't know the last time I filmed, it's been at least a couple days, but I think the hatch is pretty much complete. It looks incredible. Let me just show you guys real quick. Damn, check that out. So I still got all like the plastic film on this vinyl, as you guys can see right there. But dude, what do you guys think? All right, looks pretty incredible, if I do say so myself. Really stoked on how that came out. This was, uh, this is a process. This right here was a mission on its own. <laughs> right now, I'm just working on getting this uh, this front bumper all fitted up ex uh, extremely well. Doing a bit of body work because I had a little bit of fitment issues prior. There's some low spots here and some waves that I'm gonna go ahead and uh, address. Yeah, obviously, you know, I feel like anything aftermarket, it, it will take some molding and massaging to get it to fit 100% like factory. out really well well definitely gonna try and return this just garbage um oh i actually so like i said i picked up some other stuff this is what i actually picked up from my local body shop paint and body shop paul's shout out to paul's polyflex some Everclote polyflex now this is what was like 75 dollars. this was a lot of money and however i see now why and i don't know what's up with that this this product right over here because usually i swore it worked fine on the 240 bumper but dude it was so clumpy and like dry this just it flows it's like self-leveling so you know it is a lot more money but i will try and link, uh, link this in my amazon store below for you guys to check out so seems like it's drying up pretty damn well it's actually sticking this time so that's awesome
so much time has passed, like literally hours. It's, been, it's the next day, first of all. And uh, I think I'm at a point where I'm ready to go ahead and toss some primer on this bumper. So um, you guys can see, went ahead and, uh, you know, there's like a like indentation here on each side that when I tighten the bumper, it kind of flex that portion of the bumper in. So that's why I wanted to like mount the bumper, have it installed, you know, that way it's in the position and the shape that it would be when it's on the car. So it should look pretty damn good. Now, this whole front piece, I mean, anywhere that you guys see that white stuff, that's the filler. So you can see how much work I, I, I did just to get this thing like glass smooth. I'm really excited to see how this looks. Same thing with down here, it looks epic molded all the vents in, they look really good. So the way I did it, I, this is kind of what took me the longest time. I'm gonna sit down here and have a little story time with you guys. So I was trying to figure out just how I wanted to do these. So you guys can see we have this big like open kind of notched out area you guys can see. At first, I was gonna just try and blend it into this part of the bumper. So what I just ended up doing, I just resorted to, you know, keeping this little notch here, making it all just one little, I guess, indentation. However, the only thing I did blend into one another is uh, this seam right here. So this will be seamless. You won't see the transition. So at least it'd be kind of fluid. Get it all prepped up and we're gonna toss some primer on, not the whole bumper, just the areas where I, where I did the work and we'll go from there. We'll get this thing wrapped. All right, guys, well, it's, it's at least been a week or so, probably longer since the last time I filmed anything. I have, a, I have several updates. Guys, so I wrapped my whole front bumper, just wasn't satisfied, man. So with this white, the problem is you can see like every seam very like, it's very distinct. So, and, and there's really no other way of going around doing seams, especially when it comes to doing it inside of these ducts and stuff like that. The vinyl will not stay in that position. Um, at least this specific vinyl, it's super thick guys. So um, like I said, it's my first time experimenting with this brand of vinyl. I do prefer the, the finish that is given with this vinyl. But I just wanted to kind of try it out just because I, I, I will, we are offering wrap services here at Mally Motor Works. So I just kind of wanted to experiment with different types of vinyl since I already have a couple under my belt. So now I want to get a third. So but actually, as you guys can see, I, I fully body worked the front bumper. It's looking great. These ducks molded in look Phenomenal, bro. I, I'm loving it, dude. I just decided, guys, I, I, I went ahead and just primed it. I'm gonna just paint it. So I actually got some paint matched exactly to that color of the vinyl. I took a sheet of the vinyl to uh, to Paul's paint and glass. Made me a, a whole, you know, color match quart of that. So we're gonna go ahead and spray it. I actually went ahead and already did my mirrors. The mirrors came out super nice, bro. Like, whew. see, I actually color matched the inside of the mirror too. So these are usually black. I think that looks extremely clean. Very happy with that. And also, check this out, guys. Oh my God, as I almost just eat it. Yeah, so I, I, I yeah. You know, I, I couldn't not do it. So the whole underside of the hood is all painted. Looks incredible. I just kind of painted this in the paint booth without like everything working in there. I just used it as a place to paint just because it's, it's not done yet. So uh, I really need to get this done by Thursday. So. Now I'm gonna go ahead, since that's all done, I can go ahead and now wrap the top of the hood, which is gonna be very, very, it's gonna happen pretty much after what I do now. All right, well, I know that's kind of an abrupt ending for today's video, but if I would've kept going, we would've kind of veered into the next video I have for you guys. So, uh, a lot of cool mods coming. Well, we have, actually have our, 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 our full J-Spec taillight install uh, coming up as well, and uh, just a lot of cool stuff. And the car, like I said, is complete. It looks absolutely insane. The white on white, Dude, it's blowing my mind, the whole black with the, it's just, it's just so good. So we're gonna do a full out reveal video. I can't wait to show that with you, show that with you, share that with you. Damn, it's been, I just feel like I'm so rusty, bro. I, I, I don't film as much, man. I want that to change. I wanna film like every day, everything. It's, it will happen, it will happen. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Like I said, giveaway, memberships, all that stuff is live. Grab your merch, guys. It really helps us out. Let us know about the posters and uh, I'll see you guys in the comment section. Have a good rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.